Hey friends, welcome back. I am hopping in my car and I am gonna go do our very first, or go get our very first Christmas stuff today. I haven't done any Christmas shopping so far. It's the day after Thanksgiving and I need to at least get started. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm also gonna go to Sam's Club. I'm gonna get some things at Sam's Club. I thought I'd bring you along for that as well and just bring you along for our weekend because our house when I say trash is probably not the right word, but it's close to that. It um, needs some TLC. So we're gonna get to all that this weekend too. And hopefully, I'm hoping we can do something Christmassy with the kids this weekend. Um, first, we always, pretty much every year, we always, Thanksgiving weekend, the, the weekend after Thanksgiving, we always do something Christmassy with the kids. And so I'm hoping we're gonna do that either tonight or maybe tomorrow night, um, figure out something to do, like Christmas lights, something. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But first, I'm gonna go pick up my sister-in-law because she's coming Christmas shopping with me. And I thought I'd bring y'all along and go to Sam's Club. I thought these washable activity rugs were really cute and such a fun idea for like kids in a playroom or something. I thought it were, they were so cute. And then of course these washable rugs for like my living room. I really like these. We actually really need a new rug and I might actually look into those a little bit more. Um, and then I love these pre-made meals. I actually um, got this taco kit that shows right there. I'll share, I'll share me making it later. It was not our favorite though. I will definitely not repurchase that. Um, but the other one we bought, I think we bought, we've definitely bought the chicken pot pie. It is really good. And then I think we bought the chicken Alfredo before as well. But we really love that chicken pot pie from Sam's Club. And then we needed a few other essentials. So I grabbed like trash bags. And then I'm also sharing some of the other like holiday things that I saw. So I love these meal kits because they're so easy to heat up and cook, but this one was not good. You'll have to let me know if you've tried this one and if you or your family likes this one because we were not a fan of this one. It is Saturday morning and I'm going to get some stuff done today. We're going to get this house clean, picked up. Ethan, when I was shopping yesterday, I did a lot already but i'm just gonna go ahead and get some more stuff done today i'm gonna get started with stripping my bed it needs a good washing i may try to get to delaney's bed too and get hers washed i'm just gonna get some stuff done today so i, th I would like to also try to go to walmart sometime in the next little bit and see if i can see i've been looking for ornaments for my tree to do something a little bit different than what's on it now i'm just not like have i just don't love how it looks so i want to do something a little bit different so I might be able, I might try to get out of the house and run to Walmart and see if I can find those. But I'm gonna get started stripping my bed and get some stuff done around the house. I'm starting out, um, just starting out in my room in my bathroom and just trying to get as much as I can done today. Um, we got even more stuff done, but a lot of it I just wasn't able to film on camera. Ethan was doing things, so I kind of um, just got done what I could today. So I'm getting started by stripping my bed. It is sheet washing day. Um, I usually don't follow like an actual schedule with this. I like to do it weekly, but sometimes I don't do it, but like every couple weeks. So it's been a couple weeks since I've washed our bedding. So taking all of our bedding off and washing our sheets and our duvet cover.
making our way into our bathroom and I'm just giving a little clean into our shower. I'm not doing a full deep clean into it. It actually hasn't been that long since I've done a really good deep clean into it. So I was just wiping a few things down in there, kind of taking the things off of our bench and then taking my glass cleaner and cleaning the outside of the shower. It's honestly been too long since I've given our bathroom a good clean in, including like the floors. Like it's not, I think I actually cleaned it up last week, but I didn't actually do the floors. And I can tell it when it's been a while since I've done that. So I wanted to give it a decent cleaning, but also get to the floors in here and my bedroom. I typically like to clean my floors with my Bissell steam mop, but I actually today just ordered new cleaning pads for it. Um, so I actually didn't have any cleaning pads. I had to throw my last one away and haven't ordered any more. So I had to use my spin mop, which I really like using it too, but I've, the handles kind of broke on it. As you can see, it's like shorter and I can't get it to extend. So it kind of hurts your back when you do this for a while. So I am ready to get back to my steam mop, but this is a really good deep cleaning option as well. Um, I just put some of my favorite cleaner in there, which is from Branch Basics. I put a little bit of their concentrate in there to clean the floors. And then I'm just making my way into my bedroom to clean up in there and get the floors clean. Was really on like bathroom duty today so i got in mine and ethan's bathroom and then the kiddos bathroom needed a good cleaning as well so i got everything wiped down in here and also got to the floors in here
the last step I did to both bathrooms is I took the bath mats out and I cleaned those, but they were in the wash actually like during this time as I was cleaning it. So I did get to that as well. And then I'm getting to the laundry room and giving it a good wipe down as well. Just kind of getting to the spaces that I don't get to like every week. Um, well, the bathrooms. I do at least the kids' bathroom because theirs needs it usually a couple times a week doing what I just did today. Um, but getting to the laundry room and wiping everything down in here. as cleaning uh, this is our last step as far as like cleaning things so our sheets were done and our duvet cover was done from washing so Ethan and I both got in here and made the bed back up it is so nice having fresh clean bedding so we done this and then in just a second I'm gonna show y'all a couple little things I got as far as Christmas decor I told y'all that I wasn't super happy with my tree and I feel like it needed something. So I was gonna go to Walmart and I didn't feel like going in Walmart. So I stopped by my local Dollar General and found those ornaments, which is actually the exact color I was looking for. I didn't want like a bright red. I wanted like a like burgundy, not super bright red. So those were so cute. They only had two boxes left in the store. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I feel like I could probably use another box of them, just a few more to add, but I was kind of just moving things around. I took the ribbon off. I thought I might keep the Merry Christmas. I don't know if you, I don't think I've shown, shown that, but the, I have like a Merry Christmas ribbon. I took all that off. I actually ended up putting a few of those back on but I have like the gold and white and then I've got the white bows tied on there. But I feel like it needed something else added to it. So it also needed fluffing a little bit more. The tree does not stay exactly how I decorate it, especially with the kids. Things are always getting off and missing and the next thing I know half the ornaments are in the floor but um, I feel, just feel like it needed a little something. So I'm so glad I filmed those because I really liked the look of those and adding just a little more color to the tree. I think I really want to get a new tree next year. Ours is getting where it doesn't look full in areas like it has in the past. So I think next year we might, maybe might invest in a new tree. So I got my 
candy jar out or it's like a, actually like a cookie jar but i'm putting candy in here i've had this for last like the last couple years or i might have got it last year from the target dollar spot but i got some christmas candy and filled that up i actually forgot about this jar we had it in a different spot than all my other christmas decorations and i remembered i had it so i grabbed it to put here with my other little things in this corner so i did that and then i also added a wooden cutting board behind this um, like gingerbread little sign i think it really made it pop more and i think it needed that wooden cut wooden cutting board behind of it so now all i need to do is add like some christmas treats in my little baking dish so it is a little while later we um got myself ready we're heading for our first Christmas activity of the season. Um, the kids are so excited. We're gonna go see some Christmas lights. We've never been to this place and it looks fun. It looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we think. Um, it should be fun. I think they've got, like you walk around and look at the Christmas lights. I don't think there's a lot of like a bunch of activities, but you walk, walk around and look at the lights. And then also they've got like, like hot cocoa. I think you can roast marshmallows. It should be pretty fun. So I'm finishing up, getting myself ready. Ethan's drying the girls' hair. We went ahead and got their bath. So a couple of the hair, a couple of the girls' hair is not completely dry. So he's drying that. Anyway, so we're excited for that. We're gonna go to dinner first, and I don't know exactly where we're going, but we're gonna go eat dinner and go have some fun. It is Thanksgiving weekend or the weekend after Thanksgiving. I don't know if I want this headband or if I might take it out. Um, the weekend after Thanksgiving. So we always do something Christmassy this weekend. So like every year we always do something. So we couldn't let this year go by without doing something. Or y'all know what I mean. We couldn't let this weekend go by because we always do something this weekend. All right, I can't figure out headband or no headbands. What do we think? I think I'm gonna go no headband. Okay, I think everybody's ready. What is on your outfit? Who is that? Santa. Santa, where are we going? We're gonna go see lights. Lights. You trying to shut the door on me? Oh, you hear somebody. Oh, that. Oh, that was our neighbor. Hey, where are we going? Uh, Christmas light. Christmas light. We ended up taking the kids to Outback, which is one of my favorite places to eat. A lot of times on date nights, Ethan and I go here. We just love their like, I love their grilled chicken. I actually got that tonight. I love their steak. I love their blooming onion. It's just so good. So we ended up taking the kids to some Christmas lights. There wasn't like a ton to do here but there was a lot of lights that we were able to walk through and see. Normally, when we go see Christmas lights, we actually drive through them. So it was nice actually getting out, but it was really cold tonight. So we were able to warm up with like some hot chocolate. We roasted s'mores. Um, it was, and it was fun. So it was our first little Christmas activity. We love kicking off the season, the week, weekend after Thanksgiving with doing something Christmassy. And Cal was obsessed with this train. We stood here for so long watching this little train, but I'm so excited. We normally do something just about every weekend from now until Christmas, as far as like seeing Christmas lights, going to see Santa, something Christmas related, going ice skating was one of our favorite things. So we are so excited for the Christmas season. So I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for our weekend and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.